welcome back to Kenfolk Farms. Uh, we're up here playing with the bees a little bit this afternoon. I wanted to tell y'all a little bit about the uh, varroa mite. We're coming into fall and the about the worst enemy I think for honeybees is probably the varroa mite. Uh, for the simple fact they don't have any natural defense against the uh, varroa. Uh, the varroa mite is a little parasite that can get on your bees, it can get on the larva, and it feeds off your bees. And by doing this, it causes your bees to get weak, and it can cause them to get a virus. And uh, come wintertime, these bees will be trapped up in these hives. They won't get out and fly after about 55 degrees or so. And they'll tend to get trapped, well, they'll stay in these hives all winter. And if they get stuck in there with all the varroa, they'll, uh, they can get weak, cause viruses in the hive, and it can end up killing your hive. Come, uh, you'll open your hive next spring and have a dead hive. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to treat for varroa mite. Uh, we've also got uh, the hive beetle, but we've been showing some videos on those, how to treat for those. But the varroa, mite, the varroa mites, you usually do that in the fall. You treat for those in the fall and the spring. And uh, I'll show you how we do it without all the chemicals. A lot of people do it with chemicals, and it's just... Let me get away from these bees. I ain't got popped yet, but they are getting fired up. Varroa mite, we can treat those uh, a little more natural. A lot of people, a lot of these commercial beekeepers and, uh, and uh, a lot of hobby beekeepers treat them with these chemicals. I have to say the very first time we had bees, our very first fall, we treated ours with a chemical that I was told to buy by a lot of beekeepers, and it was horrible. You, could, you have to wear a, a, a gas mask to use it. It's very caustic, very corrosive. And they said, well, if you get it on your gloves, you have to throw your gloves away. So I had to buy a separate pair of gloves. And I'm thinking, man, I don't know if this is safe to put in my bees, and which it didn't kill my bees. But when we stuck it in there, we, we put the tops back on the hives and all the bees just come pouring out. They just, I know they didn't like it. And I, and I just, we're, we try to stay as organic as we possibly can. I, I don't spray anything on my property. And I feel like, I mean, I can't control where the bees go. We have people spray around here, but, but I'm not going to put anything in my hives because I know I'm going to be eating this honey, and I sell some of my honey. Uh, I'll show you an easier way to do it. All right, guys. Basically, what we need for this treatment is regular old uh, pure cane powdered sugar, olive oil. That sun's getting dangerous out here. Um, a sifter. We use these corrugated uh, plastic sheets. They send these with your hive bodies. If you go and buy your bees, when you buy your bodies, they'll send you these a lot of times. And on our hive, all our hives, we use these screen bottom boards instead of solid, solid bottom boards. We like them for airflow. We need a lot of airflow in the summertime to help with your bees. Uh, we'll need a rag and a hive tool to separate our bees and a smoker, of course. First thing we do is hit them with a little smoke. They love that. In the front, in the top. Oh. Give them a little smoke. Okay everybody. First thing we want to do is we take our top off. And look for a queen. We want to look for the queen and make sure we don't have a queen sitting on here. So far, so good. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop the top, clean some of this mess off, clean some of this off. We got a few high beetles to get rid of to smash. A few beetles to smash. All right, we're gonna pop this top, get inside the box. It's really simple. Get inside. Shake all our bees down. Lots of high beetles. Smoke these jokers down a little bit. Lots, and I'm not squishing bees, I'm squishing hive beetles. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take our powdered sugar, we're going to put it in our sifter, put some in our sifter. And 
and basically just coat the bees. Give them a good coating. a good coating of sugar. We'll do this to every box and then just put it right back together. some of that old nasty stuff off. Step one. Okay guys, now what we're going to do is we're going to take a corrugated board, now that we've got all the bees sugared, I'm just going to pour a little olive oil on it, not much. Take a little rag and just sort of coat this board. I just want to sort of coat it with olive oil. coat of olive oil Alright, after I've coated the little corrugated board in, in uh, olive oil, there's little sleeves in the back of your hive where you can take and slide right under and it'll stop right at the bottom of the hive. You just slide it straight under. So the object is when you coat these bees with the, with the uh, sugar, it causes them to go into a, a cleansing mode. And, and they'll go to cleansing their cells, uh, cleaning their cells off, and um, they'll knock the varroa off of them and push, and they'll fall down to the bottom through the screen, get stuck on the olive oil. And you can do this about every 10 days, and you'll see on the bottom of the board, we'll, we'll check on it in, a, in a, about 10 days, probably next week or so. We'll check on it and see how many varroa, if we have any varroa, how many varroa had dropped down and they get stuck on the olive oil and we'll see how many we got rid of. And you can really get a, a, a oversight of how many or how bad your, your hive is. But these bees will clean themselves, they'll push that sugar, get the sugar off themselves, pull the varroa off of them. I'll put some pictures on here too of what varroa looks like when they're on bees. They're really hard to see. It's basically like a tick. It's like a tick on a person 
but uh, we call them the bee tick. And uh, I'll put some pictures on there. But uh, that's basically it. Coat them in sugar, and they'll they'll scratch the varroa off their cells. They'll clean their cells, get the varroa off. They'll fall down through the screen bottom board, get stuck on the corrugated board, and uh, that'll knock down a lot of them without all that corrosive chemical and and things that we don't want to put in our hive. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching our videos. Do me a favor, subscribe and like. Woo, it's hot. Subscribe, hit the like button if you would. If you want to see more of these videos, leave a little comment. Like I say, we're coming into fall, so the bee videos are going to start slowing down. Uh, once it gets about 55, the bees will be done, and I don't like to crack them open, maybe around January, so we'll check on them. But, but uh, I appreciate you guys watching. See you on the next video. <laughs>